Maroney and I teach grade 11 technological design. Broadly speaking, this course is about iterative design and problem solving within the context of building robots and other structures. Students in this course work through projects starting from more basic to more complex throughout the year. And probably the best way to tell you about this course is to show you an example of a final exam. So this robot was built to compete in our final exam, which is a robotics competition. Students are given a game or a, a task to complete and they have to build a strategy and design a robot around competing in this competition and doing well. So if we look at this robot, it's actually a culmination of all the things that we learn in the course. For example, students learn how to um, design pieces in SolidWorks. They also learn how to use machines to actually cut these pieces. They learn how to assemble robots uh, together in a cohesive structure. They learn how to troubleshoot their actions. They also learn how to program the robot to drive using a joystick and also to do things autonomously where you just press a button and complete a task. We do some basic electronics work as well. As you can see on this robot, there are some basic sensors, LEDs, and we do a little bit of crimping and wiring. We also talk about game strategy. For example, before boys are asked to design their robot, they have to complete a cohesive strategy in order to best complete the task and then they build their robot from there. We also do a little bit on designing and building gearboxes and we talk about velocity and torque and the trade-offs between the two different things. As well with every project students are asked to write an in-depth engineering report that helps document their iterative build process and be able to speak knowledgeably about their robot and what they might do next to improve. I would recommend this course to anyone who likes problem solving, who likes hands-on creative learning, um, and who isn't worried about spending a little bit of time after hours working on a robot, because these tend to take a long time. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, and I think it really is one of the more fun, possibly one of the best courses at our school.